The Marvels has faced major backlash ever since they announced it, so we all figured that it would struggle at the box office, but now that it has and we are confirmed to have the worst MCU opening on our hands, the Marvels director, Nia DaCosta, has now come out and attacked anybody who is criticizing this film. I have a few different things that I want to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or via YouTube memberships. Starting with a Bounding Into Comics article, it says the Marvel's director, Nia DaCosta, recently shared her opinion that critics of woke Marvel are virulent and violent and racist and sexist and homophobic. It says uh, DaCosta made her thoughts known during an interview with Variety ahead of the film's opening weekend. The director was first asked if her use of the Beastie Boys intergalactic in the film's trailer was a shot at critics of her Brie Larson's acting, and it was explained the lyrics, well, now you don't see me smile, seemed especially pointed, evoking an early scene from the first Captain Marvel, where Carol is approached by a smarmy biker who revs his motorcycle engine to get her attention and says, you got, got a smile for me? And when Carol doesn't react, he calls her a freak under his breath and heads into a store at an LA strip mall, her revenge stealing the jerk's bike. And DaCosta said the song had nothing to do with the critics. That that's the first time I realized that those lines are in the song. I completely think that she is lying. I definitely think that she uh, has, over the years, paid attention to all of the backlash with, you know, Brie Larson um, and the Captain Marvel film in general, and I definitely think that she understands the hatred, and she probably picked that song or helped pick that song because it does, uh, you know, evoke the memory of that scene and of Captain Marvel in general. So I think that she is lying here. I think that she is saying, I never realized that that was in the song, but she actually did. And DaCosta then shared her thoughts on critics who lampooned her film and Marvel for going woke. Now, over the years, Marvel and Disney in general most certainly have focused on the narratives that they are putting into their content, and they are extremely woke. I mean, that is why South Park took major shots at them in the Panderverse special, and they are not the only company doing it, but they are one of the largest offenders when it comes to woke content. But she said there are pockets where you go because you're like, I'm a super fan. I want to exist in the space of just adoration, which includes includes civilized critique. The problem here is that she's basically saying that there are groups of people that, you know, I and my community would probably fall into where she says, you know, you're not civilized enough, but many of us are civilized. The problem is that you go into interviews, you say things like this, you call us all of these terrible and disgusting things, but you expect us to not respond. Of course we are. But then people like her just say, oh, well, that's criticism. That's sexist. That's homophobic, that's, you know, some kind of isterphobe, which is absurd. DaCosta added, then there are pockets of that really uh, violent and racist and sexist and homophobic and all of those awful things, and I choose the side of the light. That's the part of the fandom I'm most attracted to. So first of all, you had about five ands in there. I think that, you know, you really need to branch out when it comes to your grammar. Um, but this is so hilarious because this interview, as the article says, actually came out before the Marvel's film released, and we did not catch it, but that means that they were already pulling the ism card, um, that, oh, well, you guys, you guys are racist and sexist and this and that before the film even came out because they knew that this was going to fail. They knew it was going to struggle at the box office. They knew it was going to be heavily criticized. So they started early with this. It's like with the Kenobi series. We heard uh, from Moses Ingram that, you know, Disney had prepped her on what to expect and all of the backlash that she was going to face. And that interview where she said that was weeks before the Kenobi show came out, but it just means that they are putting that 
out into the world so that their super fans can instantly call anybody criticizing all of these terrible things. This woman truly cannot take any criticism, and it is something we have to call out with actors, directors, producers all of the time because they just cannot accept the fact that there are going to be people who dislike their content, but they take any little criticism. I could say, I hate the outfits in this movie, and they'd say, oh, you fall into this category of toxic people unless you are on your knees praising them. Uh, they think that it's, you know, toxic backlash and that they can just write it off as that simply because they don't actually want to listen to criticism. And honestly, the failure that this movie has seen is truly hilarious. This movie deserved to fail. I did watch it. I did review it. The, it will be linked down below. But this movie was just terrible. It is one of the worst movies I have ever seen. And there was really nothing redeeming in it, in my opinion. The humor was very cringy. It felt too long, even though it was a relatively short movie. The costumes were awful. It just felt like like the complete opposite of the MCU. It felt like a CW film, and it just shows that the creatives that they are getting for these major projects have no idea what fans really want anymore. DaCosta's film bombed at the box office with the worst opening weekend in the MCU's history. The film only grossed $46.1 in its opening weekend domestically. It also saw significant declines throughout the week. Weekend. On Friday, it grossed $21.6 Saturday's declined to 15.2, a 29% drop, and on Sunday, it dropped another 39% to $9.2 million. And to top that off as well, you have the Marvel Shatters another MCU record by posting the worst first Monday box office gross in the MCU history. And again, I can't really say that I'm all that surprised. They had such an amazing formula going for the MCU, right? They had so many millions of fans worldwide who absolutely loved the content that they were creating. But unfortunately, they have lost their way over the years. They are hiring inexperienced writers and producers. Like, Nia DaCosta has only worked on one other feature film and that's literally it. There was no way that she deserved to be leading this movie. Then you have uh, the actors that they're choosing that are just really terrible and they are throwing so much money at these projects but they're not you know, writing good things. The plots are not actually that good. I mean, this is a movie that cost over $300 million to make. You would think that they would have, uh, you know, the best of the best on this project, and they don't. While I do feel a little bit sad that the glorious days of the MCU were over, projects like this just make me hate what they are doing. It makes me hate, uh, you know, the actors, the director, anybody affiliated with this project that this is truly the best that they would come up with in one of the most prominent franchises in Hollywood history. There is a reason why the MCU used to be so beloved. It was so freaking good, but unfortunately, this is the type of content that we are getting. Cringy feminism humor, uh, bad acting, awful costumes, and an all-around awful movie, and that does not make you racist or sexist or homophobic for criticizing this terrible film. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you would enjoy it and of course found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.